All right, we're here at Pioneer Pro DJ UK with Rob Anderson. What's up, man? Shout in. You're gonna show Go. us a brand new machine today? Yes, so today I've got for you brand new DJ controller we've launched this weekend at BPM, the DDJ Ergo. Ergo? So, yeah. All right. Brand new name, nice slick design. You can see we got a matte black finish on the top, white yeah. white side. So very, very slickly designed, along with uh, legs at the back to nice. ensure loading of the laptop underneath. So it's a space-saving unit. Right. This is your new newest MIDI controller, and I see you're running Virtual DJ with it. Yeah. So at the moment we're running Virtual DJ Pro, which is allowing us to do video mixing, which we're doing at the moment. You can see on the on the screen over here. We're actually mixing between two tracks. Yeah. So yeah, video mixing in the pro version. It actually ships with Virtual DJ LE. Right. So it's a small price to, for the upgrade, and then you get the full video capabilities as well. Nice. It, it also works with all other digital DJ softwares that receive CC messages. So Trackdar, Serato, uh, Ableton. Right. It's, it's a standalone MIDI controller, so it will work across the board. Now, do you have different maps that are downloadable for the different softwares that it runs? For instance, can you get a special map for virtual DJ and a special map for Tractor? Yeah, I mean, this ships with both. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. okay. So, ships with virtual DJ software, however, there's also a map for Tractor for anyone who might be using that already. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You can see on the on our virtual DJ software as well, we've got a nice Pioneer skin, yes. which sits over the top, so just ensuring it, it remains in conjunction, it looks very slick with the, with the unit itself. Right. So looking at the features of the unit, it's essentially a twin CDJ setup, sort of a hybrid CDJ style, with a mixer in the middle. Nice ergonomically spaced out to fit in with Pioneer equipment, you know. There's a lot of features on here, but they're not cramped up. Yeah. So you don't need tiny little fingers to access the controls. Sure, sure. And there's no chance of accidentally hitting controls that you don't want to be hitting. Right. You can perform very accurately on it. Now, looking at some of the Pioneer exclusive things, that, like new technology we've got on the device, we've got a really cool lighting technology we've, we've incorporated. We've got the beat, beat pulse lighting. So whilst this track is playing, we've got four LEDs that are really brightly illuminated on this track. You can see there. As we're mixing from this deck into this deck, this one remains dimmer until the tracks are synced together. Oh, right. So once the tracks are synced, this will remain exactly the same as that track, indicating a nice visual aid for visual representation right, of right. the mix. And just an aid for anyone who's honing their skills, developing their mixing yeah, right. craft. We've also got the pulse effect, pulse lighting. So when two tracks are playing, you can see on the faders, We've got a sort of pulsating light, pulsating LEDs inside them. Yeah. This is also another indication of the BPM of the track. So if you're playing house music, you have a constant pulsating of the track of the of the fader. Right. Indicating when they're in time also, and also acting as a VUD, VDU display. A bit like an old school beatkeeper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, also indicating the velocity of the, of the music as well. So they go, they dim down as the uh, faders go down. Oh, nice, nice. So incorporating uh, the layout for Virtual DJ and Tractor, you've got your twin effects bank. So effects bank one at the top, effects bank two over here, which can be used on either or deck. Right. Working tied in specifically to the software, which you can see on the screen now. We've got four really cool user-friendly effects, which uh, you know you select your effect using the first part, then you initialize your effect, turning it on. Right. The three extra parts are for the different parameters to manipulate how the effect sounds. We've also got sample bank capabilities, so twin eight samples can be loaded up or eight samples can be taken from the current tune you're playing. You know, features that you'd expect to see on a pro unit, right. but a really, you know, cost-effective unit that's been accessible, made accessible for the home user. This is gonna be retailing at 430 pounds in mid-November. Right, we'll, we'll figure out what that translates into in, in dollars as soon as I get home. We'll figure out what it's gonna be going for. Cool. We'll, we'll see what it goes in the States. Now, I notice if I look at the top here, I see deck A, B, C, and D. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, man. So this is a four-channel MIDI, right? 
Yeah, this is uh, it's capable of four deck mixing. Depending on the software you're using, right? Whether that's virtual DJ or Tractor, uh, which which you know facilitates the four deck mixing style, right? You can switch from deck A to deck B to deck C, sorry, at the touch of a button. Right. And we've got nice different coloured LEDs to display that, so right. very easily to see. And you can see as I switch that. On the software, it also switches as well. Yeah, okay, you know, allowing really intense creative possibilities. The fact you can have four deck mixing, right? And not if you are using a two deck software, not wasting space of having an actual physical right, additional right. four two, two deck software. Two all you need. Yeah. All navigation of the software is done up here. You know, our DDJ technology across all the controller range is very similar. So we use the rotary knob up here right. to navigate through That's our track collection. Track. Yeah, really nice visuals as well on the software. Choose your track and then you simply load into deck either A and it switches back or deck B. And then you're good to, good to go and start mixing. One thing I didn't mention about the lighting as well is the effects pulse. So the lighting technology of the, uh, the jog wheels is connected to the effects. So if I instigate a uh, filter, so turn the filter knob to a high pass, you can see, we can visually see it. Oh right, yeah, how, yeah. Deep, how deep the filter is going into the track. Sure. If I increase it to 100%. Oh, that's cool, yeah. And if I go low pass, it goes anti-clockwise the other way. You know, very aesthetically pleasing and practical as well. No longer, you, you, you don't run the risk of mixing a track in with a filter on. Right, you know, right. Because you, you can that, see that, right. that, that that filter is is still assigned to the channel. Well, this is a really cool new unit. I know it's, it's aimed towards the DJ who maybe can't afford the big stuff. This is something they can step into. It's an extra level piece from Pioneer quality stuff. Rob, I really appreciate it. Our first look here at the E-Grow from Pioneer. Cheers. Awesome.